Holy hell. What in the bee Jesus is that? It's a painting. I know it's a painting, dickhead, but what is it? It's ugly is what it is. Uh, is it an elephant? I don't look like no elephant I ever seen. Or an octopus. Uh, what's it got in its mouth? I think that is its mouth. Miss Julie! <laughs> come here. Oh, you assholes were supposed to be done with this floor an hour ago. Now I gotta come. Holy moly. Darn tootin'. What is it? It's a painting. I know it's a painting, dickhead. But what is it? What are those blisters all over its skin? Warts? Oh, those are, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, pimples? Their eyes. Well, anyway, stick right on here. Don't you worry, though. This wall is not long for this world. I've got a team arriving on to you. Slow your roll, Larry. It looks old. Maybe it's old as a Some fancy pants artist could have lived here. I was working out that cash. Look at me. Oh, I got a girl who handles the off stuff out at the university. I'm going to call Kim. Oh, Kim? Oh, Nelly. Did it just look at me? Ha fucking ha. Cover that up. And y'all, keep your greasy fingers to yourselves. You heard the lady. Cover it up. <laughs> well, help me with it, will you? Let me tell you something. She's talking big now, but I'm putting my foot down come tomorrow morning. That stuck of bitch is not set to one foot inside. <laughs> Driving down. Yes, no worries. Pampas is a total graveyard this week. Oh, okay. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh. How's your uh, sniffer? Sniffing anything out yet? It's a fresco. It's Italian? No, it's painted on the wall. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I told you that, and I didn't go to college. Are frescoes worth more or less or. Julie, you may want to tell your foreman the plans have changed. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. What's that now? Listen, why don't you let me have this conversation? Well. The grown-ups are talking. <laughs> when you're done with your piece of plans, you take Julie. it. What does this look like to you? Yeah. Yeah. It, it looks like the thing in the paint. And that one? Oh, yeah. There he is again. Mm-hmm. This is from a collection of pen and inks that we handled two years ago. The lost work of Carol Jeffrey Pickman. Who's she? He was an obscure artist in Galveston in the 20s, and what's left of his work is becoming highly coveted in some circles uh, in Europe. What kind of weirdo pays for something like that? Weirdos are my bread and butter, Larry. See this one? I went for a fortune to some Russian. Yeah, fortune. We know. That his primary medium is oil, oil but none of his oil will survive. At least it's what we thought until. 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 <sighs> Julie, we may be standing in front of the last Hickman oil. Look at me. Drawings, drawings went for a lot of cash. What about this thing? Oh, we're in this money pit of a house. Help 
Probably more than this whole damn town. <laughs> what do we gotta do? Rip the wall out of the wall and ship it to Houston? Because we can do that. We can do that shit tomorrow. Oh, no. Listen, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We don't even know that this is a Pikmin. Oh. You, you telling me that this spider elephant goat thing isn't the spider elephant goat thing? There's two guys running around painting no. spider elephant goats. I'm just saying that before you go making it rain, there's a lot of nerd shit that has to happen. I'm gonna do some oh. research. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring somebody in to do some imaging with your permission, of course. Yeah, 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 go nuts. Oh, I gotta call my accountant. Gotta make sure the government doesn't fuck us on this. Kim! Pleasure. Fancy pants are so famous, how come I never heard of them? I lived here my whole life. Oh, uh, apparently, the paintings ruffled a few cummerbunds. Artist traffics and the grotesque. <laughs> well, it ain't hard to see one. Oh, yeah. Hey, do you suppose it's because of the brutality of the imagery or the fact that the demon resembles female genitalia? I don't suppose I have an opinion about that particular issue, man. I take it he's some kind of nut? Oh. Paintings were the least of it. So, <laughs> Pikmin is seen breaking into the homes of two of his patrons, trying to steal his paintings back. He kills a gardener in the process. Police corner him in his studio. He covers himself with lamp oil, lights a match. Look. 72 paintings. So much kindling in a conflagration, conflagration that it lit up the sky as far away as Port Arthur. Yeah, took all his paintings with him and just to tidy up, his wife and infant daughter were locked in the pantry while the house burned. Sure is quiet up here. You know, if you got time to gawk, you got time to hammer something. So, hammer something? Kim. Yeah, Larry. you have a Rolodex full of rich Russian buyers. You live with your parents. Okay, have you met Julie? The community college may as well be the Museum of London to these people. Trust me, I'm from a town like this, we're doing them a favor. How's it feel? Like I'm wearing a blender on my face. We want it to be a comfy blender. You know, we're lucky that someone didn't burn this whole thing down with a bottle rocket. Check on you. I, uh, oh. I brought apple fritters. I have apple fritters. Would you, you want an apple fritter? Yeah. Um, I got plenty. Oh. Hey, hey, Miss Lovett. Kim? 
this is not a window, but a door, a diminishing between worlds. He has a face that cannot be formed by shapes, a name that cannot be formed by tongues. So I give him a new name, a name for the moon in which he dwells, a Greek name. Demos, god of terror and fear. Carol Jeffrey Pickman. Well, sounds like Carol's one cookie shy of a baker's dozen. Oh yeah. There's an inscription that says he was a grand knight in the Brotherhood of the Yellow Hand. And then that room is where they did all of their little frat parties. And this house was built as a sort of spiritual antenna. So the Pac-Man was a Shriner. My uncle was a Shriner. They drive little cars at the parade. It's creepy shit, but it isn't exactly eyes wide shut. I'll be in there doing real work. Holler if y'all see a ghost in a fez. You know, I used to live a few houses down. Yeah. Old folks used to tell stories about this place to scare the kids. About a beast with a million eyes. And if you saw it, it'd snatch your eyeballs right out of your head, gobble them up like goobers. You know, it's a really good way to scare kids from snooping around a dark house, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. You know, I once bet my cousin two bucks he couldn't sneak into this place and take a picture of it. convinced me that he ran away. I tried to believe him. <laughs> Julie didn't send you here to check on me, or did she? Julie pays shit. Okay, I had to see this for myself. I didn't think we'd honest to goodness find this damn thing. Render this is showtime. Map the painting with different wavelengths of light outside of the visual spectrum. So you can see each layer individually. Even what what is beneath. What is that? Is that something to do with computers? Uh. Yeah. The magic of computers are going to turn Kim here into the man with the x-ray eyes. So a lot of artists when strapped for cash will just reuse old canvases, paint over old work, they'll just do rough drafts of the same drawing. It can go a long way in confirming authenticity. We uh, might uncover a whole world beneath the surface. Yeah, do you wanna, um, you wanna try it out? I should get going. Oh. Yeah, we're raising that beam at six. Um, yeah. Y'all, um, 
be careful. Okay, thank you. Can you believe that fucking guy? Yeah. It's a miracle one of these local yokels doesn't drive a pickup truck to the front door. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Do you want to just call it a night and put a fresh pair of eyes on this in the morning? I have zero interest in spending a second longer in this town than necessary. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh. Okay. is really heavy. Let's go. Okay, the first thing you're going to see is the varnish layer. Mm -hmm. That's just ultraviolet light bouncing off of the surface. Wow. You are kidding. It's a lot. It's messy. It's like he was standing across the room and just flung something at the canvas. You know, it might not be varnish. It could be water from a bus and pipe or rain. Or human blood. Okay. JK. Okay. The cops use something similar for crime scenes. Yeah, unless someone was chainsawed to death exactly where I'm standing, we can safely assume this isn't blood. What's next, Roy? Next up, we're using infrared light to look below the surface of the paint. Mm -hmm. Stoked? So stoked. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna take this. Guess what? It's not cheap. It's totally fucking fried. What the fuck? Shitty fucking wiring? Goddamn death trap. Kim? Kim?
scary. Shit, just scary. What is it? It's all yours, as soon as you sign. Yeah, my wife is into this kind of weird stuff, aren't you, babe? Yeah. Uh, what's the story behind it? Have you looked into it at all, or? I did. I thought it might be worth something. Just some local crackpot. <laughs> I was gonna paint over it, but it's all yours. And what happened back here? Well, there was something that about That is a leaky pipe. This time tomorrow, be like it never happened. What do you think? Big enough for a family? Plenty big. Oh! Here. He moved. He kicked. That's a good sign, right? Got a little artist in there, just like his mom. Here, let me show you the servant stairs. <laughs> I've got a girl.